All right, so I kind of want to give a quick update to the YouTube channel. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, like long form content, product reviews and stuff like that. I have two product reviews in the works right now. A company finally reached out to me and we're working on one product review and now I bought another of their products or whatever to review and kind of do a comparison video, stuff like that. Um, I had some other companies reach out to me, but those deals kind of fell through because the products they were trying to offer um, wasn't something I think a lot of people would even really care about or really need. And then on top of that, what they were charging for the products was absurd. So I wasn't going to do a review on it. Obviously, um, I'm trying to do budget items for people who need stuff for their setup and stuff like that. And it's going to be beneficial to you. And if I feel like that product is not it for you, then I'm not going to waste my time i filming maybe some b-roll editing it and everything like that just to put up a video wherever to grab attention on something that like i said is neither useful or helpful to anybody um so that's where that is expect that review later on this week beginning of next week possibly it just depends on how much time i can get with the product um so there's that so they're they're still coming around and everything i know some people are probably waiting for product reviews like i said um, they're coming for those who subscribed for the short form content, whether it be unboxings, um, obviously I'm going to have those go up wherever for the products, but most of them are probably for the dancing shorts and stuff. I did look guys, if you're new to the channel and you don't already know, and you want to watch the dancing stuff or wherever I do live stream over on kick.com slash squidhead Joe, there's always a link to the socials in the description. So you can follow me over there. Um, if you guys do watch the product reviews or do watch anything else, and you are interested in watching live streams of games and stuff like that, I currently really only play FPS games. Um, I switch between Apex Legends and Call of Duty. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, I'm not like the best player. I'm not an esports pro or anything like that. I don't have the same movement or do anything crazy. I just chill out, vibe out and play the game and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see any of that, again, links in the description to my socials. You can catch me there. I usually tweet out when I'm going live so you guys will know. So if you want to follow me on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, you can do that there. And um Again, you can watch it live, uh, whether it be the dancing or video games or something like that, or you just want to chat about maybe a product from a video you've seen or something like that, uh, any updates on it, stuff like that. That's just the best way to, I guess, get in touch with me and stay connected with the community and stuff that we have over here because we're almost to a thousand subscribers, which is crazy to me. Um, I've only been doing product reviews for a little bit over a year and I've seen tremendous growth doing it, switching from gaming content, which took me forever to get to 500. And then as soon as we did the product reviews, y'all have blown up the videos, y'all have liked, subscribed and everything like that, commented. Um, and I see all of it and I'm just very grateful for it. I don't know if I have anything special for a thousand uh you know subscribers or wherever maybe i'll do something if uh, the time allows but the main reason why i haven't been really uploading and stuff like that um and just doing the short form dances and stuff because i've been primarily focusing like i said on the streaming because i've just recently switched to kick from twitch and been seeing tremendous goals over there we're almost to 100 followers over there we're already getting subs and stuff like that and um it's just been a great community to uh be a part of over there on the platform i know there's negative stuff surrounding the platform i had some worries and some things that i covered in a video earlier uh just i would say like a month and a half ago now or something along those lines um where i was worried about the platform and what they were doing and stuff like that but the people of the platform that i have interacted with and uh, grown with or wherever is the ones that um, are the positive type and the ones that are actually really trying to build um, a different type of community than you would see from the negative stuff of uh, kick or any social media platform because any social media platform is going to have its bad uh, side of it and bad folks and all that stuff like that but it's who you surround yourself that I've learned that um, make the experience what it is and my experience has been good um, so your results may vary. I do want to say that's one of the reasons why I haven't been really um, doing product reviews and stuff like that. Another reason why is, like I said, companies haven't been reaching out a little bit too, too much right now. I think it's uh, a part of the fact that a lot of companies are getting new products and um, delaying the launch windows towards the end of the year because, you know, holidays, stuff like that. So that's one of the reasons why, again, I haven't been doing product reviews. Another reason why is uh, some people might know on the channel that, again, I have a baby boy. 
He's six months going on, seven months now. Um, I've mentioned it on live streams. I mentioned it on social media, and I think I've mentioned it a couple times in videos. Um, he has some complications with uh, being able to digest and intake uh, formula. My wife doesn't make enough breast milk to feed him, so we had to find somebody who was somewhat relatively healthy or whatever to feed him breast milk and everything. He was doing a little bit better on that, but he's still having issues, so we try to switch to a different type of formula. We've been the, the spending money crazily on formula and stuff. That's another reason why I haven't been able to do product reviews, because um, if you if you are a parent, you know, formula is already expensive. We've tried specialty formula. That's almost like a hundred dollars per, you know, uh, can or wherever and stuff. And, uh, he just, he, he, the formula and breast milk or wherever is too thin for him. He ends up choking. Um, he, sometimes he would be really constipated and won't poop or he will just constantly throw up and stuff like that. So we've switched doctors like three or four times. Uh, we've seen uh, different G uh, GIs or wherever uh, for his issues and stuff, and nobody was really helping us or actually examining him. Um, the only thing that we were able to do was get some blood tests done for him, and they all came back negative for allergic reactions. But obviously, he has some kind of issues. So luckily, we have a doctor now who recognizes that stuff, and she is it's getting him scheduled and referred to a, um, I guess, a feeding specialist or whatever you want to call it to uh, see what's going on with them because you have to feed them a certain way. You have to thicken the milk with rice and stuff like that, which he might also be allergic to because um, he's having issues with that. But that's the only way to keep to let him keep the milk somewhat down is by thickening in it because it's like i said it'd be too thin for him he ends up choking and spitting up and it's just it's been really rough uh luckily my wife doesn't work because we live off my disability check because i am a 100 percent disabled veteran um so she does 12 hours with him i do 12 hours with him but i wake up um six hours early every day to sit down record videos like this edit videos uh and live stream and stuff like that and then i go straight into my 12-hour shift obviously that's not the best situation to be in um especially since she can't sleep or during his when when uh when she's watching him i can't sleep when i'm watching him we might get like an hour of sleep or wherever while watching him at different points in time because he won't sleep for that long because he has those issues he has acid reflux and all that stuff so he's sleeping like every one to two hours he's getting up um and you have to pick him up burp him and stuff like that make a bottle and everything he very rarely out of a month he would sleep four to six hours like undisturbed very 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 rarely like maybe once or twice in a month um so obviously even if i wasn't doing content creation or whatever 12 hour shifts yes sleeping 12 hours is good but staying up for 12 hours when i like i said i have sleep issues i have a sleep hat machine i have mental issues uh, my wife battles with depression um especially after having a, a child or wherever a, a wife or a woman goes through a lot of issues and emotions and stuff like that so she's dealing with that and on top of that having a fussy baby who's always crying and and whining and stuff like that and on top of that having the complications like he does where you, you know sometimes he won't poop on form sometimes he's just constantly throwing up um it's just a whole bunch of uh draining energy i guess you can say and not really being well rested is really really hard for us to uh to function and i don't know how we would make it if we weren't in a situation or the unique situation we were in where like i said the bills are everything is paid for and everything through my disability check because if we both had to work or you know worked in two jobs or something along those lines i honestly don't know how we would function or make it as a family because it would just be uh entirely impossible so any you know positive thoughts and prayers uh anything like that would be uh greatly appreciated uh as we figure out what's going on he like i said he's been like this since he's come home he's a premature baby he was born at 33 weeks um so ever since we brought him home he's been like this and it was really hard going from doctor to doctor and everybody just telling us that all this symptoms and everything he's dealing with wherever is, is perfectly normal and it's like it took one person to watch us while we're in their appointments and stuff like that feeding him which we did at every appointment because again he eats so often because he can't keep majority of it down so he's always constantly hungry um 
one doctor was able to finally like see that there was something wrong and was like, yo, this ain't right. Feeding specialist immediately. Um, so like I said, this doctor isn't playing around. She's trying to do her best to get us in a situation to where he can enjoy himself being a baby and go through the normal processes of what he should be doing at his age and stuff like that, even though he's a premature baby and we can go back to enjoying him as being the parents and stuff like that and get to some kind of normalcy. Um, so again, I just want to give you guys a quick update. I'm sorry, uh, Respawn. I'm sorry for Respawn recruits and stuff like that. I know we're supposed to be pumping out content and everything. I'm doing my best to uh, continue to do stuff for, like I said, Respawn recruits. And um, like I said, do my live streams and stuff when I can. Uh, it is hard, especially mentally for me, uh, going through everything that we've been going through at home behind closed doors and stuff. But I kind of just wanted to open up because I feel like a lot of people have been subscribing to the YouTube channel as of late um, based off of past videos and because of my dancing uh, clips and stuff like that that I've been posting on TikTok and YouTube and everything. And it's great. I'm welcome to everybody. Welcome to the fish tank. Uh, but yeah, I've just been trying my best to... Uh, like I said, keep it together. Uh, kind of, I'm not going to cry or anything like that or try to get too emotional. I don't like really opening up too much about private matters and stuff. But uh, yeah, just keep me in your thoughts and your prayers. Keep my son in your thoughts and your prayers. Um, any, like I said, prayers, positive vibes, anything like that would be uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. So with that being said, I'm sorry for ending on a um, sad note, but it is what it is. I'll catch you guys. And the next one, y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.